Hey guys, Adrian here on the behalf of iTouchApps.net, and today we're taking a look at FontBook. This is by the guys at the Font Shop FSI uh, community, and this is a app they release, and they have been releasing on, for you typographists out there, you guys who are designers, etc., enjoy fonts, this is a way to keep a great reference of fonts out there, uh, getting information about fonts, checking out the latest fonts, uh, purchasing fonts, allowing you to purchase certain fonts, and just getting all the up-to-date information on the fonts out there, comparing fonts and typefaces, and they have thousands of typefaces out there, you know, really a thousand plus uh, typefaces out there that you can really categorize, compare, and check out. So you see here you have categories, essentially, of the usage, the year, foundry, designer, and class. So you can kind of look through there. You can see your favorites if you have favorites. Um, you can go into the settings on the bottom left here, and this just allows you to look through your settings for uh, a cache and stuff like that to store the fonts and stuff like that. Um, let's say you want to go into designer. So let's say you go into the designer category. You can see all the names of certain designers of fonts, essentially. So let's say you know a designer and uh, you want to look at some of his fonts. For example, Bob Alonzo. You can see all of his fonts here, like ITC Aftershock, um, IT Outback, IT uh, Serengeti. You can see the weights of the fonts here. You can click on the font here to get more information. And then you have this little sub menu open up. So now you can see the font here. You can go right here to look at uh, other his other fonts, the plain font, the Serengeti 14 point font. So you can get really detailed information about his font. You can also see information about the designer. So you can see the class, the font weights, the glyphs per font, the trademark, uh, the library it's in. You can favorite it if you want to. And additionally, at the bottom here, you can check out a couple other stuff. So you're on the ABC, ABC here to look at the font itself. You can click on the pencil here to kind of look at all, again, again other fonts by him. Uh, you can click on the view, the little eyeball here to see uh, see also, so maybe uh, stuff that may be related, an example, uh, you know, you font, another font you may like. Um, also, you have the ability to shop for it, so I can click on the little cart here, and what I'll do is I'll open a web page, and I can shop for it at fontshop.com, and you can see here I can buy it for however, I can see how much it costs and see what it's compatible with, in this case it's Windows and Mac. I can go back into FontBook here, and also have search at the very bottom right. So I can search by font, I can search by designer or foundry if I know any of those uh, related to the font. I can look all of those up. Uh, going back here again, you can just look at all this other stuff. So you can go into class here, for example. You can see sans serif font, script font, all certain classes of font, non Latin font. So I can go to non Latin. You can see here you get Arabic, uh, Cyrillic, Chinese. And again, if you're a typographist, this is a really, really awesome app for only 99 cents. I really love the interface. It's clean and simple. And I love how they give you options to buy it and compare. Definitely one of the huge pros out there. You can even filter down certain fonts or classes of fonts so you can really get narrowed down to the font you want. Again, it, it's definitely a awesomely designed app and really, really simple and clean. That's a huge pro to it. I love the functionality and the comparison uh, you know they gave here in terms of the fonts. You can just really look at a huge overview of them. But definitely, uh, it's, it's not really a con, but this is definitely a an app and um, something that you'd spend 99 cents on only if you're you know really interested it's, it's definitely a niche market if you're a designer if you are somebody who mo mo uh, you know messes around a lot with fonts maybe in photoshop or just a any sort of design work or you're just looking for a great design uh, font for maybe a one-time thing you know maybe a, a video that you need to use a certain font for or anything like that to match the settings so definitely is one of uh you know a, ni a niche application for you guys out there but again if for those who really do uh, involve work a lot around fonts. This is the one-stop reference definitely for you guys. Again, check it out. Font book in the App Store today.